What is up guys, Icon here, and I've got uh, a really interesting video for you. So it's going to be a long video. I'm going to show you how I anchor. This game I do really well. I think I go close to 50 kills and 13 deaths, and I'm strictly playing the anchor position. So um, the, the greatest thing that you have to remember is that you're not necessarily playing the objective. So if you see the score start to get close, then you just got to keep playing. But uh, we're going to get this thing started and let's break down some gameplay so three two one so i'm going to go ahead and put this in codcaster mode and the first thing that you're going to notice is that i don't necessarily go straight towards the hill and the reason for that is because i have teammates that are going that way so we'll go ahead and we'll keep this going and right off the beginning you'll notice that i'm going over to the left so you can see my arrow it's the yellow arrow icon nation and i have three teammates going for the hill so the reason why i'm going towards the left is because i'm already setting up the spawn that i want to have on the next one so the next position is over at treehouse so what i'm trying to do right now is kill the two red arrows that are right in the middle of the map and what that'll do is that'll give us control of the hill and that'll make them spawn behind us as long as I keep pushing through. So I'm pushing through. Um, I'm going to kill the person that's up top. So if we want to go back, um, I'm pretty sure I get this kill on the person that's up top. And then I think I clear out the hill. And then right now, um, okay, so I died. Okay, so still um, I'm not gonna run straight towards the hill because that is not my job so my job is I'm just trying to kill to clear out the hill I'm trying to clear out the other team and I'm trying to set up our favorable spawn so I kind of go a little bit crazy right here um, I think out a lot of people but again rather than challenge and go after that kill that I don't necessarily need um, I'm gonna keep trying to set up the next spawn so I keep getting kills I'm getting close to kill streaks a little bit but the thing that I want you to notice real quick is that do you see that top red arrow the top part of your screen that is where the next hill is gonna be so that is where I want to spawn so right now they're spawning at statue which is the top left red arrow that is where they're spawning we want to spawn up there so that we force them to spawn over in dirt and then we have the you know the better spawn so right now um, you can see my arrow. I'm still, you know, just strictly working the spawns. So I'm coming up here, making sure nobody's up here in market. I'm going to go back around behind over to statue over there. But right now, um, if you look at the score, we are losing 24 to 21. But I'm not necessarily worried about getting in the hard point. You know, that seems to be everybody's concern as soon as you play this is that we got to get to the hard point, got to get to the hard point. But that's not, not necessarily how it goes. So right now, um, and another thing with playing, another thing with playing as the anchor is you really got to have trust in your teammates. I'm not playing with anybody that I know right now. So right now, you know, all I'm doing is just kind of going out on a leap of faith. I'm just trying to control the spawns and I'm just trying to let them, you know, push the hard point. So if their entire team is pushing the hard point and I'm just back here watching the spawns, then, you know, it should work out a little bit. So... Right now, you can see I'm heading to the next one. There's 15 seconds left on the current hard point. So I'm heading to the next one, and they have a player. If you look at the bottom left-hand corner, you see a red arrow coming up this way as well. So I'm going to the next hill. They're going to the next hill. I set up my sentry gun, and uh, it takes out that person that was over there. Actually, no, it forces them to run towards the middle, and then I take them out. Sorry, I got a little bit confused as to what happened right there. I didn't remember but right now, um, my teammates are coming from the left. So I'm looking at the mini map right now. And if you look at the top left corner of the mini map, our teammates are all over by statue. So I have my sentry gun watching the alley to the right. So I am watching the middle until my teammates can get up here and help me out a little bit. So uh, I see I'm taking bullets from the right, which means they're still coming from the right. And right now it gets taken out. So at this point in time, I'm just laying down, uh, trying to get anybody that might come up to you know that right side so we'll keep playing this um, you know we're trying to watch all angles and again I'm still watching that right side because that's where I think our, they're going to come from 
and uh, they do. I die. I shouldn't have jumped up like that because I'm putting myself behind cover. So moving on. Um, right now there are. I just want to show you this. 30 seconds left in the current hard point. So I used my lightning strike to take out anybody that was around the hard point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rely on my teammates again to get in the hard point, and I'm going to go ahead and. Um, move around behind and try to control angler anchor so right now if i wasn't going towards anchor we would all be spawning at market and they would all be spawning on top of the next hard point and that is not necessarily what you want to do so right now um i have a decision to make so i take out this guy and my decision is that i can go and i can sit in the hard point and try to take out anybody that comes for it or i can try to set up spawns so that is what i decide to do so you'll see that I turn around, I don't go in the hard point, and I try to control spawns a little bit by being in this back corner. Um, again, I'm not necessarily trying to kill anybody that's going into it. I'm just trying to control spawns a little bit. So um, I'm just you know waiting it out a little bit, trying to kill people, find people, whatever. But I'm not trying to get in there and cause a disturbance because if I do go in there and I die, they're going to have complete control of the spawns, and that is not necessarily what I want to do, because that's not the most advanced, the most, I don't know, that's not the most advantageous spot for our team to be in. So I'm just sitting back here trying to control spawns. You can see right now that it's, um, it's working in a way. So if you look at the arrow, the red arrow on the left, the very left, he spawned up there by market, and we are spawning over by the top green arrow that's by dirt. So while we're not spawning right on the hard point, we're spawning closer, and that's just because I'm holding that back spawn. If I wasn't there, they'd be spawning by my yellow arrow, and that would be bad because we would completely lose this hill. So we'll just let this play out a little bit. Um, again, I'm just trying to control spawn. I'm trying to control where I'm at. Again, um, if you look at the score, it's 98-78, and they are gaining on us. However, as an anchor, you can't completely get um caught up in the score you can't get caught up in oh man they're catching up we got to get in there and do something um you just can't do that so you got to play poised you got to kind of have a little bit of a sense not a sense of urgency you got to play within yourself and right now so right now i'm at the next hole the next hill it's statue and i'm trying to set up anchor however we rotated a little bit late because i died at the last hill so we're rotating late, and I know that they're going to be coming from market, and I see that guy up there. So right now, I'm just trying to take cover and, uh, you know, set up this next hill. So I'm just laying here, and they're all going to come from the top. So I get a few kills here, and I believe I get my kill streaks. I think. I'm not necessarily sure. I don't really remember how this goes. But at this point in time, I, you know, I was just trying to hold down the hill. Um, so I take out some of them with my lightning strike. I think I got three. And the last one was in the building. So right now, I'm just trying to push the hill. There's not really too much um, else that I could be doing other than pushing the hill. Again, I'm getting a ton of kills. I'm 27 and 4 right now with two caps and five defends. So I'm really, I don't know, I'm playing well. Um, but I'm not necessarily in my role right now because um, I'm pushing the hill rather than just trying to control spawns. If you were playing this, you'd want to have the upper spawn, like right now. Somehow the spawns got flipped, so I expect them to be coming from the bottom. And they do. Um, because spawns got flipped, all of my teammates were looking up towards me, but they were spawning at dirt. Unfortunately, none of us had mics, so we weren't communicating. But um, I knew that. Uh, the only way that you can know that is because if you spawn there, chances are that they're going to be spawning elsewhere. So again, right now. I'm at market, so that means that they're going to be spawning down at the bottom of the map or by church or by dirt. I know they're going to be coming from that direction. So again, my job is just to kill people. So I'm going to go in this middle building. And uh, I like being in here because you can see two ways. You can see the hill as I'm doing right now, and you can see over to my right. You can see church, and you can see that alley over to my right. So right now, um, I'm just trying to get kills. I'm trying to free up the hard points so that my teammates can get in there. Right now, everybody's dead, and um, here's kind of an important thing to see. I know that they're still going to be spawning in the same spot, as you can see by this. 
Um, I have a teammate that's right behind me, so I know they're going to be spawning still over on that bottom area by church. Now, if you look here, I am looking towards the right alley. And the reason why I'm looking towards the right alley is because I see a teammate in my mini map. So if you look at my mini map, the top left corner, you can see that green arrow. You can see he's by a white truck and he's watching the middle lane. So I don't have to watch the middle alley because he's there. So that's why I made the decision to watch the right lane while he's watching the middle, the middle alley. So that dude gets a three piece. The uh, Hellstorm takes out two more. But again, they're still spawning down there. And uh, this is good. R right now, everything's working in our hand. And again, I'm not worrying about the score. I'm not worrying about the other team being in there. I'm solely worried about just killing people, keeping them up the hard point, and controlling spawns. So, where I go next? Uh, we have a stealth chopper, so things are going really well. But what I'm going to do next is that the next hill is by, right now, if you look at the top right hand corner of the mini map, or just the map, you can see that they are already in the next hill. However, we still want them to spawn at dirt because once we're in the hill and they're spawning at dirt, we can take them out a lot easier. So there's less head glitches down by dirt. You just have a much better time. So right now, I'm just making sure that nobody's up by statue. I'm just trying to control the spawns again. So uh, that's all that I'm doing right now. I'm not worrying about you know, being on the current hard point, trying to get in the next hard point. All I'm doing is trying to worry about you know, having control of the next spawn. Unfortunately, my teammates were a little bit late in, uh, you know, moving over, but whatever. I'm not worried about that. And I get two kills in the hard point. There's one person left. And unfortunately, I missed that guy. I heard him at the last second come up behind me, but I missed him. And, uh, you know, that was just a mistake on my part. You're not going to be perfect all the time. You're not going to, you know, play good all the time. So you just got to adapt to the mistakes that you made. So right now, we have the worst spawn. We're spawning dirt. They're spawning up top. Uh, it kind of screwed us a little bit. But, you know, it's just that one kill. So that one kill can be a complete game changer. Especially if you're playing, you know, a, a talented team that's... Um, a talented team that's has good communication strategy and teamwork and stuff. So right now, there's still 20 seconds on the current hill. But when I spawn, there was 30 seconds. But I don't care. Again, I'm leaving it up to my three teammates to go in and rush the hill. Again, I'm just trying to control spawns. So, I'm going around, and I see here in about a couple seconds, I see right there, you can see the the next guy. Their anchor is also in the hard point. Um, they kind of make a mistake because he makes a mistake in that he's in the hard point, and that's not necessarily right where you want to be. You kind of want to be outside controlling the spawn. Unfortunately... Um, I just lose this gun battle. I jumped and I, you know, I hit the rock. But it was unfortunate that I lost that gun battle. But it's fortunate because I got a great spawn. So I spawn here. I know where he's gonna be. I know he's gonna be in there. Um, right here, he takes out my teammate that's rushing. So on the right hand side, you can see my teammate rushing the hill, and he gets taken out by the guy in the in the hard point. However, I know that right now he's gonna be a, probably pretty close to reloading. So I come in, I take him out, and now we have control of the hill, and we have control of the hard point. I get this kill. Actually, my teammate gets this kill. And then again, I'm looking right off to the right corner because I'm looking at my mini map while this is going on, and I see my teammates coming from statue. So they're coming from statue, so I look over to the right, and I'm just kind of, you know, trying to control this right side. Um, our teammates make a mistake right here. If you look at my mini map. You can see the guy that's right beside me to my left. That guy shouldn't be looking to the right because that's where I'm looking. If I was playing with a full team and we had communication going on, you know, we could work that. However, um, you know, if they don't have communication and you have somebody looking to the right, then you want to watch that middle alley and that's where we get taken out from. So this hill got broke because that guy wasn't watching the middle building and those middle stairs. He was watching the same way that I was watching. So this kind of screws us because um, it gets us out of the hill and they have hill control and you know we're just trying to fight back um, I think I die here yeah I die here and I just decide to give up on it um, there's 30 seconds and again this is where you can't really worry about score a lot of people might see this score and think oh man if they get 25 more seconds they're gonna be at 180 we're at 210 if they win the next hard point then this game might be tied up so 
a lot of people, you know, start to freak out a little bit, but you can't do that. You just got to trust your teammates. You got to trust the score and your strategy and just really play within yourself, within your head, within your composure. So again, um, this happened the same thing on the last hill. If my teammates should have been back by me, we should have just gave up that extra 10 seconds and we should have set up to control this hard point. Now, right now, you see them going in the hard point, but I'm not necessarily trying to kill him because I don't want to give him away my position while my teammates aren't there. Say I would have shot that guy that was just walking in, then they could have swarmed me. We wouldn't have had anybody back here, and then they would have had this entire thing. So, right now, I'm just trying to hold this down until my teammates can get here, and we can kind of split the spawns at worst. So, I'm fortunate enough I get a kill inside of it. I also kill this guy so I'm getting kills they're spawning dirt and while we're not necessarily have you know the best spawn we're controlling them we're giving ourselves a 50 50 chance to get the hill and the only reason why that's happening is because I am back here playing this anchor position if I wasn't if I was rushing the hill and we all died then they would have complete control of this back hill and that would not be good at all so um, again, this is just a hard point where you're not necessarily going to have spawns. However, um, you're not going to have spawns, but you can kind of control. You can kind of keep the game in your hands. At this point, I break my roll because I see that we're getting close to where if we get these 20 seconds, there's a minute left. These 20 seconds will give us 245, and we will win the game. So I break my, uh, I break my roll to get in here and get control of the hill. And from here out, it's more or less just Sue's sailing. Um, there's not really much after this. You're just kind of controlling this hill. Now, if this was earlier on in the game, you would have wanted to rotate if you're playing anchor. However, at this point in time, it doesn't really matter. We all but have this game wrapped up. So the last hill, um, again, I'm still gonna keep kind of playing my role. Because if we would have kept rushing from dirt, there's a good chance that we you know, never would have taken out the people that are in there. However, you can see, and let me go back. Um, actually, never mind. But you can see that I'm up top by market, and the teammate, the green arrow that's right behind me, just spawned there. So he spawned there because I elected, instead of rushing you know, the fastest route to the hill, I decided to, com to keep playing my anchor spot and controlling spawns. So I'm up here. He spawns behind me, and uh, I get this kill, and I think I call my kill streaks, and you know they all die eventually, and we take over the hill. But again, it's just all about playing smart. You just gotta realize, you know, where they're at. In terms of anchor, you really gotta pay attention to your mini map. That's super important. And right now, I'm just uh, kind of just wasting my kill streaks. The game's over. So, um. The game's over here in like two seconds. So I end up going 46 and 13. It's a good game. I was really happy with it. Um, and again, I'm not worried about captures. I'm not worried about defend. I'm not necessarily worried about kill death either. I could have went 14 and 13 this game, but as long as I controlled the hill or the spawns, that's all that I care about. So um, with that, I mean, I hope you guys are you know learning something from this because I see a lot of videos out there where people are just saying, you got to run the anchor, you got to go here, you got to go there, but they're not necessarily saying how you do so or um, like the routes you take to necessarily win games of hardpoint. And this team that we played, we're a master's ranked team, so they're a good team. Um, so sometimes it takes more than gun skill to beat teams like this. You, you really got to have control of uh, your map strategy and where you have to go and where you have to control the maps. So I hope that I'm giving you the best breakdowns that you can find on YouTube. I'm trying to... Um, not necessarily just say, oh, th this is the spots and this is where you have to be. I'm trying to show you how to get from point A to point B, how to get to the anchor spots, how to control, you know, spawns, and all in all, how to win the game. So thank you guys for watching this video. I, I really hope that you're learning something and enjoying what you're watching. This is probably the longest video that I've ever done. If you liked it, please do so. Um, let me know by, you know, giving it a like, leaving a comment, just letting me know that you learned something. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. With this outro, guys, I don't have too much to say. Um, again, if you like the video, give it a like. 
If you could support me by uh, subscribing, by clicking that yellow button, I would appreciate it a ton. Um, again, that's kind of all that I'm looking for. I just want more people to see my stuff. So if you want to follow me on Twitter and on Facebook, those are the links below. And uh, if not, then I hope to catch you next time. So subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great night. Peace.